Hi and welcome to a lecture on burns. A burn is an injury to the skin or body's tissues primarily caused by heat or due to radiation, radioactivity, electricity, friction or contact with chemicals. Burns are one of the most common household injuries especially among children. Burns are characterized by severe skin damage that can cause the affected cells to die. Pharmacologic choices With reference to pharmacologic choices, it should be noted here that it is important to avoid the use of prophylactic oral and parental antibiotics in all but exceptional circumstances to avoid the development of resistant infections. Topical antibiotics have been routinely used for the initial management of burns, although there is significant debate as to the efficacy in this setting. Here again, there is no convincing evidence to support the use of one topical antibiotic over another. Pain Management Topical anesthetics have been used to provide temporary pain relief, but evidence for efficacy is lacking. Topical anesthetics such as lidocaine and benzocaine are common causes of contact dermatitis while agents such as promoxin have low sensitizing potential. It should also be noted here that there is a risk of systemic absorption and toxicity if local anesthetics are applied to blistered or large areas of the skin. Potent analgesia with small aliquots of intravenous opioids such as morphine or fentanyl is often required initially to manage pain related to burns. But subcutaneous and intramuscular administration should be avoided because peripheral vasoconstriction and generalized interstitial edema will inhibit absorption and this can lead to overdose of the opioid as circulation improves. Non-prescription topical antibiotics containing bacitracin have been used for many years with no reports of congenital malformations. Very limited amounts of mupirocin are absorbed after topical use and there are no reports of teratogenicity. There is some evidence that systemic fusidic acid crosses the placental barrier but there are again no reports of teratogenicity.